Hi, I'm Cindy Speaker, and I'm talking today with David Daggett, a good friend, an attorney from North Carolina. And David and I are going to talk about something that is relevant to law firm marketing. And what we did yesterday is we listened to that piece by Jay Abraham, who is our cover story, this, this well, issue. Well, I was excited. You, you kind of gave me behind the scenes. Yeah. And of course, I followed Jay Abraham for, I don't know, the last 15, 20 years. Me too. I mean, he is the marketing guru. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. No, absolutely. So you're going to take a DVD home because you want to actually use it. To yeah, yes, please. Train your staff. This right? is the rough cut. You told me I can't That's share right. this. That's right. Can't share it. <laughs> but what I want to talk about, and, and also in, just in talking with Jay through this interview and, and some of that process, um, you know, honestly, it's just he is he opens new worlds to me, and I feel like I'm a pretty, um, a, you know, a cutting. Not, I don't want to say cutting edge, but I'm kind of into marketing. But yet he talks about this concept of maximizing your maximizing every strategy so that you're really optimizing and and maximizing every touch point. Yeah. With in your business or within your law firm, and it was interesting because I was looking at your timer as you were playing it. It, it was only 11 minutes. Yeah. Well, that 11 minutes is a lifetime of knowledge, right. and it made me wanting more on each little point. It was really good. Yeah, I I'm, think so too. I'm excited. I am too. So anyway, what I what I wanted to um, just talk with you a little about. So Jay and I have talked about doing a group together, mm -hmm. and basically where he would bring what he brings is this tremendous strategy that he has, the, and he talks about a strategy of preeminence. And what we've talked about is creating a group of attorneys, 50 attorneys, where we work towards maximizing every point. And I think what's cool with Jay is he makes the point, you know, sometimes we look at, some, for instance, with a, he, he told me a story about when he did this um, in another industry. He's done it in 465 industries. That's amazing right there. Yeah, it, it was incredible. And we're an industry just like all the others. We don't like to think that, but we are. Yeah, and there's a lot of carryover. There's a that. lot of carryover. But one of the things he talked about is they measured 33 ways to greet the customer at the door. And for me, I thought, because it's Jay Abraham, I thought, obviously, that was a good thing to do. But in my business, I've prob I'm probably lucky if I've tested five ways. I hate to admit it, but I'm lucky if I've tested five ways to do something. And his point is, you test it, you take something that has you know, that you see a good return from, and you say, okay, well, let me tweak it. Let me test it five ways, 10 ways, and pretty soon you have a 3% increase, a 5%, and you do that with five strategies, now you have a 25% increase. But talk to me as an attorney about some of the things you think have potential to be maximized. Well, I thought the interesting thing was, is I've always thought of Jay Abraham as a marketing expert, but that, 11 minutes was kind of soup to nuts. It talked about basic operations, how you do things in your firm. And the other thing that caught me, and maybe you're looking at it from a marketing standpoint, mm -hmm. I'm looking at it from my small law office in right. North Carolina, but he was talking about how delivering to each and every person a life-changing experience right. or because they're worth it. Yeah, yeah, and that's because that's worth core it. to what he believes. And it is core. which we believe that came ringing through. Yeah, yeah, that, the that, that, that that's core to it. Yeah, and that all these strategies are core to delivering the best possible service, experience, and results to the clients you possibly can. Yeah, when he first, when we were first talking the other day, and he started out, one of the things that caught me is he said, Cindy, the first thing is we need to deliver epic, I like that word epic, mm. epic value. So much so, he said, these people, the attorneys, are dealing with, with clients that have had horrific um, accidents, things like that. He said, they could do so much more. If the attorneys understood, they could do so much more for these people. And the heart came through. Mm -hmm. And I could see that this is where his passion is. Don't worry about any of the other things. The, 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 Just deliver the value. Help the, them. The short piece that you shared with me, that came ringing through. Yeah. It leaves me wanting more. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, anything else in terms of, it just I just wanted to kind of hear from a, an attorney perspective. Well, I, I, I think that, w that with Jay's insight and perspective, what it does is allow us, the practitioners, to look at each area, each of the touch points, as he calls yeah. them, 
it with a little bit different view. And each of those is a view towards improvement. Yeah. Well, one of the, and one of the things he said. Now, David, you are tremendous with relationships. You are, and you work at that. You do. A, you have a lot of systems in place. For instance, as long as I've known you, you do the handwritten note thing. You do a lot of things like that. Jay talked about 93 re ways to to get refer referrals, and one of the things I thought was great is that he said, every one of us knows it's good to get referrals, but how many of us have? two, three systems for referrals. And he talks about 93. Oh, when he was going through that, I was pleading guilty. <laughs> was, me too. I was, I was, there's 93 of them? Well, I know. Let me in on this. Yeah. So, um, well, anyway, well, thanks for your perspective on that. Yeah. So you think, you think, because what we're trying to figure out is how can we bring, I believe that with Jay's leadership, we can really bring value to the industry. I, I, I think so too. I think it's an exceptional uh, opportunity to get insight from one of the truly world-renowned business leaders. Yeah, me too. Well, we'll stay tuned and see how this develops. Okay, great. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, David. Mm -hmm.